Just a small video on our new addition to the Crossfire fleet, which is the Go Kart 100. Uh, it's a four stroke uh, CVT transmission, single cylinder, runs on regular unleaded. There's no need to mix uh, oil and petrol, similar to your older two stroke. So, this is definitely four stroke. Um, just simply fill it up, similar to your car, give it a couple of pulls, and bring her to, to life. Um, it's got rollover protection system fitted to this particular vehicle. You've got fully enclosed sides, so it keeps the kit inside the machine. Uh, another good feature of this particular machine is the four-point racing harness. So the, it straps over the shoulders. Um, let's have a look at it. So that's the four-point racing harness. Now another good feature of this particular machine is the seat moves up to about 10 centimeters. So you can bring it forward and backwards depending on the size of your child. So the bigger the, the, bigger the kid, uh, the further back the, the, you can move it. The smaller the child, the further forward you can move it. Um, the operation is fairly simple. Once your kid gets into the machine and puts the harness on, we recommend always using a helmet with this particular one and then it's just a gas and a brake paddle. The machine's got rear hydraulic disc brakes, which is very simple in terms of its operation. So you've got the, the green pedal to go, the red pedal to stop. Um, now you can also isolate here in terms of your on and off switch just to kill the machine. Now we'll go back here. In terms of protection, you've got the rollover roll cage. Uh, just in case you know an accident does happen, it will limit. Um, I mean, I guess limited damage if the machine does roll over. With go karts, you inherently sit a little bit lower than quad bikes, so they do tend to have a lower center of mass. Um, they've got a, a dedicated little air box on this particular machine, so it gets decent filtration. Uh, on the side, we're not a direct drive from the motor to the chain. It actually has a proper little CVT transmission, makes it a little bit smoother, also gives it a little bit more up and go off the spot, and then as you get progressively faster, the transmission is constantly adjusting out um, to make sure that the ride is nice and comfortable. Now we'll walk around the machine, just to give you a little bit of an understanding of what it's about. Obviously the hair nets for the girls with the longer hairs, or the boys with the longer hair, just to stop it going. And getting caught in the motor but very very important always to wear a helmet and make sure that your hair is tied back uh, as a pneumatic ties on this particular variant uh, let's have a look the floor is checker plate metal i'm going to look from this side now, some people will love this new khaki army color uh, some people have already provided us feedback that they prefer the more traditional camouflage. Um, obviously you do have the option of getting a traditional black and red. So on the particular black and red version you'll have the frame as black and then you'll have red accents around the machine. So things like your front will have a combination of black and red. But uh, I think kids don't mind the, the color as much as, as adults worry about what color the kids will end up choosing. But yeah, this is a quick little run around around the Go-Kart 100, which is the single cylinder little children's Go-Kart from our fleet. Now make sure that your kids are safe, make sure that they wear a minimal safety protection, which would be good quality boots, um, helmet, gloves, and definitely eye protection because it is an open wheel machine. So the kids do get dirt and stuff and debris in their eyes. So always making sure that that protection is worn. Don't assume just because this machine has four wheels that it's any different to your conventional motorbike. Always having to make sure that um, the kids are wearing all the relevant eye protection. And on that note, we'll wrap up this video.